Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dave. This is GVA, Ghetto Pain Adventures. Hope you're having a great day. Well, it's just starting in a freezing rain ice storm. So we're supposed to get pretty crappy weather today. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I want to review with you guys this thing. Can you see that? Heat shield. There you go. Heat shield. Anyway. This isn't that thick, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna go over a few things. This isn't that thick. There you go. Now, it's reflective on one side. Okay, that's the side you put out. It's not reflective here. And suction cups. Now, I've had this since the summer when it was hot. And I am telling you, like I know a lot of people make their own stuff. I had curtains in here before. Man, oh man, I sat there and went, curtains took up space because I sat out from the side you know what i mean so they always took up space they're always in the way i was always getting caught on things um these things take up way less space when i'm finished with them i roll them up and most of the time like i just roll them up like that uh but most of the time i leave uh the, the back two corners in and sometimes the side ones in depends on how far i'm going if 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 i'm staying put for a while i don't even take them out um they're easy to put on. The only thing I notice, and I reviewed these before when I first got them. I'll put the link down in the uh, description thing. But these things here, the suction cups, that's what attaches it to the window. Now, in the wintertime, I find these, you, you have to take a second and kind of supple them up a little bit. Like, just give a little heat to them if it's cold, like if they've gotten cold. But once you give them a little heat, massage them around a little bit, you know what I mean? They stick. You know, a little bit of, uh, wet them a little bit and stick them on. Uh, if you don't do that, sometimes they don't stick. So, but in the summertime when they're warm, perfect. And they come off easy. There's just a little, a little tab right there. You just grab that and kind of separate it from the windshield and it comes off. Now, these things weren't cheap. Canadian, they were like 200 bucks. Uh, I got them for my front windshield, the side doors, the sliding doors, the back pivot windows, and the very back window. Um, would I recommend them? Yes. They fit in snug, like so snug, it's ridiculous. Uh, when I put them in, like I just see just little little spots of light. And when I sleep, I hate light. I do. I don't know if I have thin eyelids or what, but I hate light when I sleep. So I think these things are absolutely wonderful. Um, in the summertime, they really kept the van cool. I was surprised how well they worked. And in the wintertime... Um, I, I really notice a difference. Like, you know how you can feel like cold, like radiate off a window and that sort of stuff? I don't feel it. It it It's warmer in the van. Uh, it stays warmer in the van. Um, I really recommend them. Now, I know some people take the reflective stuff and cut them out and put them in. that, And that's great. If that works for you, that's great. Um, I wanted to go a different route. I wanted something that was made for the van that I could plop into place. And these things fit the bill. I am really impressed. Now, the only thing I wish they had, and this is the only thing I wish they had, I wish they had like a flap. You see, like, if I open my window a little bit, um, I wish they had a little flap that you could just open um, and let air in if you wanted. Now, I still, I still crack my windows at night, like in the summer, and I open up the back pivot windows. It allows a little bit of light in, but still... In the wintertime, I still crack my front windows, and it still allows a little bit of air, but not as much as I like. I wish they just had, like, a little flap that could open up, and that would allow a little bit of air in. But you know what? Maybe that would allow too much light in also. Um, but if I was uh, if I was going to uh, recommend these to somebody, I would do it, like, wholeheartedly. I, I would uh, fully recommend these. These things would work well for me. Like I say, they're a little expensive, but... You get what you pay for because I found the quality of them real good. The suction cups have lasted on and off and on and off, and they work. They keep the heat out, and then in the wintertime, they keep the heat in. So, guys, if you're looking for something, if you are looking for something, and they sell various ones, like for your, uh, a camper, 
for a van, for a car. They sell a ton. And I'm not getting paid for this. I paid for this out of my own pocket. They're not reimbursing me or giving me any freebies. So, you know, if you're looking for something that's um, good, it uh, blocks out the light real heavy. And you know what? It protects your dash. It protects the interior of your car. Plus, it makes people not be able to see what's inside it, which I really like. Okay, guys. So, there you go. Uh, if you're looking for something, check out... Uh, I'm going to say it right. Heat Shield Advanced Weather uh, Windshield Reflector. Heat Shield Advanced Windshield Reflector. I'll put their contact information down below also, plus a link of when I first got them. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, you guys take care. Please be safe on the road.